I'm Dr. Quentin Phelps and today I'm going to be taking some time to show you how to fillet Asian carp boneless. For this first step, Ryan is going to go in and he's going to make a cut very similar to how you would fillet a tilapia or a catfish or a bluegill or a largemouth bass or a crappie. But one of the big differences is that, and as you can see, Ryan is making a uh, Ryan has made a cut right into this location where there's a series of pine cone shaped bones. So there's no way that you can remove those uh, those bones from this part of the the, the, the flesh. Um, so so Ryan is just sort of uh, eliminating that por that portion of the fillet. So and then he's just simply going down the vertebral column, uh, just as you would with any other uh, species that you'd fillet. And then once he gets down to the vent, he's going to make a cut all the way through the fish and uh, go ahead and fillet it all the way out. Now. What Ryan's doing now is that uh, he's simply just going to take that flesh uh, right off uh, of the vertebral column and over the ribs, just as you would with the bluegill or bass or crappie or whatever. And uh, you're going to see that uh, this, the flesh that, uh, that comes out of these fish are absolutely beautiful. So he's just making the cuts over the ribs right now. And as he makes those cuts, he's just eliminating that, uh, he's just trying to get the fillet off of the carcass. So now we have, now we have one half of the fillet uh, taken care of. So the next step is with this fish is that because the fillet is so wide, we have to first separate the top half and the bottom half of the fillet in order to really work on it properly. So as you can see, Ryan is cutting down the, the, the midline of the fillet, and then he's going to cut all the way through the skin. You can see how he's doing it there. And now that he's approaching the end on that, just as we would with a bluegill or a bass or a crappie, Ryan is now going to remove the skin off the fillet. So he's going to do the top half first. So this is the bottom half of the fillet right here, and this is the top half. So, so Ryan's going to take the top half of the fillet, and as he's filleting this down, he's going to try to uh, angle his knife uh, to a point where he removes that skin from the fillet. Now, as you can see, um, the carp does have some red flesh right in here. And uh, in order to be able to develop a product that doesn't have that sort of pungent uh, taste associated with uh, many of our, our, our red flesh species, Ryan is going to want to remove that. Um, this is also the site, if, if we're worried about contaminants or whatever that's in the fish, which there should, this is, there's, they're going to be very low out of the uh, silver carp anyway, but if you're worried about that, uh, this is going to remove a lot of those contaminants from the fillet. So Ryan is now just simply removing that red flesh uh, from the back side of the fillet. And you don't have to get it all. You don't have to get crazy. But you want to get most of it. Most Americans, when they eat flesh, or eat fish, they don't want to, they don't want to eat red, red meat. They want to eat that uh, good, beautiful white meat. And that's why, we, that's why we choose to get rid of that. Plus it gives it that uh, sort of that pungent taste, like I said. So now that he's removed most of that uh, uh, red meat uh, from the back side of the fillet, as you can see along the midline of this, along the midline of this fillet, there's a series of bones that come up through the top of the flesh. And they run all the way down, all the way almost to the back end of the fish. So now what Ryan's going to do is he's going to make a cut on this side of the top of that bone, and he's going to make a cut on this side of the top of that bone. And that's all he's doing now. He's just making those cuts. The one thing that I should point out here is that Ryan's not cutting completely through the fillet. He's just cutting halfway down. Because there's actually another there's another set of bones, and Ryan will show you those in just a second, that actually occur down here at the bottom. This is the top part of the Y, and then you can see the bottom half of the Y is present on both sides. So now all Ryan's going to simply do is he's going to take that part of the flesh off. He's going to fillet that right off. And then as soon as you get to that point, I'm going to show them again. So you can see, 
Now we have one of the uh, legs of the Y right here. Those are all bones. And then we have the top half of the Y that sticks through the top of the flesh. Now what Ryan's going to do is he's going to come on the other side and he's going to remove, he's going to try to cut off the top of that, that flesh from the Y bone on the other side. Very similar, very similar to how he did it on the other side. And all Ryan's doing is he's going out till he fills the end of that Y bone. And you can see here, you can see the end of the Y bone. Very clearly can see that. And he did that both on the same side. Well now, in order to make this a fillet, Ryan's going to simply flip, flip the fillet over, and he's going to spread that out. And then he's going to cut it off the back side of the, he's going to cut it off the back side. That way you can have one continuous piece of flesh on both sides of the Y bone. So that's one boneless piece right here that Ryan just collected off that fish. And then now he's going to take this half and he's going to do exactly the same thing as he did before. Very simple. And now you'll be able to see the Y bone very evidently here. So now you can see both legs of the Y, they're setting right here, and then this is the, uh, this is sort of the kickstand of the Y, if you will, the part that comes to the top of the flesh. So this is all bones, and both of these species, uh, both of these pieces now are boneless, and they can be, and they can be prepared. So now let's switch over to the bottom half of the flesh, I'm, or the bottom half of the fillet. I'm going to set that right there. Ryan's going to take care of this piece of the, uh, or this fillet very similar as to Woody, as he would on the top half. He's going to take the skin off first. And then he's going to remove this little bit of red meat that's present. And now the beauty of the bottom half is that where those ribs existed before, on basically the front third of the, the fillet, if he makes a cut right in there, he, that's going to be all completely boneless. So now this, that piece is completely boneless. So now we can put that in our boneless file. And then he's got to make a, a, a couple of cuts in here. That's just simply uh, a part of the rib cage that he's cutting off there. And then now, very similar to where we had uh, the Y bones in the top half of the fillet, uh, they're also present in the bottom half. So now Ryan's going to make a cut on this half, or on this side of the Y bones, and that, that side of the Y bones. And again, he's only going to cut down until he fills those legs uh, that are present on the bottom half of the fillet, the, the bottom half of the, the legs of the Y bones. So once he makes that cut, just as he did on the top, he's going to uh, spread that out. He's going to uh, make an angled cut out till he fills the end of those Y bones. And you can see that there. There's again the Y bones present that we had just like on the top half. Now he's going to flip it over and he's going to make that same cut on the other side till he fins, fills the end of the Y bones. And then, now you can see the Y bones present. Now he's going to do, to make those fillets, he's going to cut that He's going to cut the flesh right off the bone. And the same thing on the other side. So now we have the Y bone, and then we have the two boneless pieces, well actually the three boneless pieces that we collected off the bottom half of the fish, and then we have the two uh, the two big boneless nuggets that we had that we um, acquired off the top half of the fish. Now to show you what's what's been wasted out of this fish. This is the waste. This is the Y bone that was on the top, and this is the Y bone that was on the bottom. And that's all of the boneless fillets that you would get out of the uh, uh, both top and bottom half of the fillets.